Good morning students and welcome to the world of English Grammar. Today we are going to start the types of sentences. As we have started this chapter number 2, the name of the chapter is Sentences. Today we are going to see the types. Yesterday we have seen the definition and types. Today one by one I am going to describe you the types. There are mainly four types. Statement, imperative sentence, interrogative and exclamatory. So now we are going to start with the statements. We will start with the statements. So first we will see the definition what are the sentences the, who's, who are just known as the statement. So a statement means a sentence who expresses a fact or opinion. All type of sentence which expresses a fact. Fact means that is truth. Or we can say the universal truth. The truth that can't be changed. That is the fact. Or opinion. Opinion means give is a perspective of all the person what you think about the other one that are known as the opinion. For example, Zara is a good student. Zara is a good student. This is an opinion. How? Agar mein bolti hu, Zara ek achi student hai. As I am English teacher, so it's my opinion. Maybe she is not good in the maths, but as she is good in the English, so I am using the word Zara is a good student. This is opinion. This is only my opinion, not the opinion of other teachers or other persons. Opinion means vicharya paksh, jo har kisi insaan ke alag ho sakte hain. They are known as the opinion. And the second is Mohit enjoys playing badminton. Mohit enjoys playing badminton. This is a fact. Why is it fact? Because we just confirm it from the Mohit that he enjoys. Usko kya pasand hai? Usko badminton khelna pasand hai? Ye mera opinion nahi hai. Ki Mohit ko badminton khelna pasand hai? No. He just always play the badminton. He likes the badminton. So I am saying Mohit enjoys playing badminton. So, this is the fact. For example, more example I can give you. If I just say, I am teaching English subject. Okay. So, this is the fact. I am teaching the English subject. And you can think that I think the teacher just know the maths also. This is your opinion. When you are exp expressing your opinion or fact, if I say the sun rises in the east, this is a fact. This is a fact. It can't be changed. Means when we are talking about the facts and opinions, they are known as the statement. Jo baat hum kehte hain, directly I can say what we state. What we state is the statement. Okay. What we state means what we say is a statement. What we tell is a statement or we can say something stated by someone, something tell or something say. That all are known as a statement. Jo bhi hum bolte hain, wo sab statement hai. Agar us mein koi question nahi aa raha hai ya koi expression nahi hai. If there is no expression, no request, nothing is there. A simple language, a simple sentence is known as the statement which expresses the fact or an opinion. Okay. Examples I have given you. Zara is a good student. This is my opinion. Maybe not your. So I am sharing my opinion. Mohit enjoys playing badminton. This is the fact. That is, this is the fact. Okay. If I say Virat, Ko Virat Kohli is a good cricketer. This is a fact. It's not my opinion. It's a fact. So these are the example of statement. Now we will see the second type and that is the imperative sentences. Number two, imperative sentence which expresses the request, 
command or suggestion means those sentences when you read or speak the sentence there is a request or a command or a suggestion those sentences are known as the imperative sentence same as the statement we use the full stop after these type of sentences and the main second thing is these type of sentences begin with just remember let's or please the sentences which begin with let's or please are imperative sentence which shows the request the command or the suggestion so the first example is here please chew your food slowly here is the word please so there is confirmed that please is here so this is the requesting means imperative sentence you are requesting here to please please chew your food properly please we are using for the request and which are expressing the request those sentences are imperative sentence second is let's go to market let's means the suggestion is here let's go to market means it is not commanding you that you have to go only suggesting let's go to the market so suggestion also expresses the imperative sentence and the third is tidy up your room here is not let's not please but if you read it properly tidy up your room apne room ko theek karo means command is given here what is here command is given here so the sentence with command are also known as the imperative sentence so remember request suggestions command these sentences are known as imperative sentence mostly this type of sentence begin with let's or please and the sentence just punctuation mark is full stop same like the statement understand now the third one i we are going to see that is the exclamatory sentences yes the third one is exclamatory sentences exclamatory sentences mean those sentence which expresses a strong emotion or the we can say the feelings emotions and feelings are same when we are expressing our strong feeling or our expression we are expressing as a emotions they are known as the exclamatory sentence and statement imperative sentence ends with the full stop but this exclamatory sentence ends with the exclamation mark that is this mark exclamation mark by just see looking at the exclamatory mark we can just understand that this is a exclamatory sentence and the third point is you can just show your expression you can express your expression by saying wow hurray if you are sad then hellos but sometime the exclamatory sentence begins with what but not in a question manner in a expression manner how understand let's see the example first example is hurray we won the match in this sentence you can see that the team is expressing their happiness feeling they are expressing their happiness feeling by saying hurray we won the match or we won the match second what a silly mistake i made here is not a question what a silly mistake i made here the what is expressing the emotions in hindi if i translate this sentence what a silly mistake i made maine bhi kya choti si galti kar di hai means the question is not here the the person is expressing the feeling that it was really a small mistake how can i do this type of mistake so what is expressing here the emotion sometimes the how also come 
how a precious gift is this so the question is not here ye gift kaisa hai kaisa aur kitna precious gift hai when you just speak there that the person is expressing the emotions and when we are expressing our emotions our feeling they are known as the exclamatory sentence finish with the exclamatory mark hurray wow very good these all are the words of exclamation which are showing our emotion and what and how also we use for the exclamatory sentences after then now we will just see some few examples yes five examples i have given here we have to read this examples means sentences if the sentence is in statement we will write as if the sentence is imperative we will write i and if they are expressing their feeling we will write exclamatory e so the first is what a pleasant surprise expressing wow what a pleasant surprise and here is the exclamatory mark also so this type of sentence is this very good exclamatory sentence e second is please help me please help me means request and request means imperative sentence third is he is waiting for his friend this is not the request not the command not the feeling means this is a statement which we are just telling or a fact that he is waiting for his friend so this is the statement jo humne normally keh diya hai jo hum bol rahe hain that is the statement without any question or any expression make sure that you reach by 4 o'clock make sure you will reach by 4 o'clock make sure means someone is commanding you koi bol raha hai 4 baje tak pahunch jana means commanding and commanding means imperative sentences and the fifth one is holy is, sorry quran is a holy book quran is a holy book so this is not my expressions this is not any request or a command or a suggestion because this is a fact that quran is a holy book and fact means this is the statement like this we can understand and distinguish between the sentences i hope all of you just understand this and enjoy also so thank you students goodbye